Welcome back. We're here with motivational speaker Amy D, who's joining us all the way from St. Cloud. She made the trek this morning. Yes, Woke up I a little did. Bit early. Yeah, the and weather was fine too, oh, by the way, which so. is great. Yes, thanks to the sunshine. Mm -hmm. But we're also talking about tips of learning self-confidence and how there's two different mindsets when right. practicing it. Right. And so, first of all, in order to develop any new skill, there are certain things you have to go through. The first is you have to practice the skill and then you have to apply it effectively, and then you have to assess the results and modify as needed. And when you think about it, I call it PAM, P-A-A-M, <laughs> but when you think about it, that's how you learn everything new. You practice a skill, you apply it, you assess how it's going, and then you modify it as needed. And so that's how we learn new things and develop self-confidence, remembering that it's an action first and the feeling comes later. So something that you can implement in your in your everyday, maybe at work, confidence at work, how would you suggest starting that? Well, I would, first of all, I would say, like for example, say you're in sales and you just started your new sales job. First, you have to understand that initially you're not going to know the product as well. You're not going to be as comfortable talking about it, right? I mean, that, that just makes sense. And so you have to practice your skill. You have to apply it. You have to assess, think, how did I do this time? What could I do better? And modify it the next time you go around. It really works for anything. I mean, when I left Norway, I came back and started as a nurse. Brand new career for me. Never given a shot before, done an NG tube before, done all those sort of things you have to do. Practice the skill, apply it, assess and modify. Works for everything. And I'm sure people come up to you all the time and they see you on stage or they hear one of your speeches and they go, wow, I wish I had what she had. I wish I had this, this aura, this energy. What do you think a big mistake people are making when they are maybe feeling down about themselves? How, what, would, what tips would you give other than practicing and becoming knowledgeable? Well, I think the fear of failure is common. It's just everyone has that experience. It's just pushing through that and recognizing it. And you know, overall, I'd have to say, saying yes to stuff. Just say yes. Understand that, you know, you're going to try things. You're not going to be great right in the beginning. But if you go to the shoe store and you try on a shoe and it doesn't fit right away, are you like, oh, I'm such a loser. That didn't fit. <laughs> no. Of course you're not. And so when you try new things, understand that you're just giving it a shot. You're trying it. If it's something meaningful, you'll, you'll work it out as you go. Because the world is abundant. We live in this incredible, abundant universe. 6,900 languages, 7,500 varieties of apples. We are meant to try new things. We are meant to get out of and explore. So if you want to live a great life, you say yes as much as possible. I love that. Say yes. I do too. How do people get a hold of you or find out where you're speaking? Maybe get more advice on, on you know, growing our confidence. Yes, sure. So my website is www.amydspeaker.com and I have videos and I have a blog and they can reach out to me and I answer every email and I do hear from your listeners. You heard. She I do. Is, guys. I do. Answer any questions that you have. I will, for dedication. sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you so much for coming Thank in today. Thank you. It was fun. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Coming also, up. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm just so excited about it. We've got some seafood on today's menu. Also, how you can help low-income families repair their homes.